data breaches and cybersecurity threats can threaten the security and privacy of a small business. And customers that are victims of cyber attacks might not feel comfortable shopping with the company again. I don't blame them. The good news is that protecting data is not as expensive or intensive as you might imagine. So here are some best practices to protect your data and decrease the risk of cybersecurity threats. Now, one of the best cybersecurity practices to protect the privacy of your small business, employees, and your customers is to create a privacy policy. If you collect customer data, such as names, phone numbers, and email addresses, your privacy policy should be able to detail what kind of data the business is collecting, what the company plans to do with it, and security measures that will help protect this data. So you wanna avoid collecting sensitive data like social security numbers or other confidential information from customers, but there are a number of free policy generators. I mean, some are templates, some ask you some questions to fine tune the needs of your site. But if you would like a dedicated video on tips for your terms of service and privacy policy pages, just drop a comment below. Good advice, Neely. And did you know human error is the cause of actually 90% of data breaches? New news to me, small businesses must take the time to train and educate employees to protect this information. And this training will allow employees to better understand the important role they play in helping protect customer data and other valuable business information. The topics like tips for creating strong passwords and resetting their passwords every 60 to 90 days or how to spot unsolicited or unknown emails and avoiding opening emails, like with attachments and, and clicking on suspicious links. That actually was really helpful for me when we did that recently at GoDaddy, that training. And also where to store data in spaces approved by the business, like in authenticated company cloud service. Then be sure you're keeping up to date on software, web browsers, and operating system updates to keep viruses and malwares from internally impacting the privacy of your small business. Also, remember to audit your website and other online aspects of your business regularly. And it's just good practice. Another best practice for protecting passwords and ensuring safe logins is implementing multi-factor authentication. And if that's new to you, multi-factor authentication helps verify the identity of the person logging in and adds an extra layer of security protection by asking additional information along with their username and password. And if you want to learn more about this practice, check out the video we did on that here. So with all this too, you want to make sure you use a secure Wi-Fi network. I mean, most small businesses have a Wi-Fi network in place for employees and staff members. This network should be secure, encrypted, and hidden. Employees working from home or working remotely should utilize a virtual private network or VPN to protect business data and other confidential information. And remember to back up essential data often. Do it regularly on your computers. And some of this data might include Word documents, spreadsheets, financial files, accounts receivable and payable files, human resources files, and databases, and turn on automatic settings to back up these files. So thank me later. Data stored in the cloud should also be backed up regularly too. And if you have print copies of important documents, keep them stored in a safe, separate location from the business in the event of a natural disaster or any other issue that can potentially impact the business. And did you know there are insurance options available for data breach and cyber liability purposes? Well, do your research and reach out to these insurance companies for a quote and make a purchase based on the needs of your business to further ensure the security and privacy of the small business. Privacy is an important asset for small businesses and will continue to be important in the future. Hopefully these steps on how to protect the privacy of your small business can help move your business in a more secure direction. All right, that's a wrap, but your journey doesn't have to end here. We have over 250 videos for you to watch. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is The Journey.